Zach Wilson is currently on his way to LA for his knee procedure. Welcome back everyone, it's your boy CJ Sports and today we'll be talking about Zach Wilson and him being on a plane right now on his way to LA for his knee procedure. Let's get right into this video. So the status of Wilson's knee injury is still not yet un uh no. Head coach Robert Sala said to the team is optimistic that it will not be a season-ending injury. He is on his way to L.A. to have his uh, procedure, and then we wait. We know more when they get in there. We're optimistic, but he's not out of the woods until he gets in there and make the decision. And he, Robert Sala is talking about the like almost of Zach Wilson and almost like the surgeon, like we're optimistic, but we don't know until they decide to like really make a decision. So to give you guys a backstory, if you didn't know, it was supposed to be like an ACL tear and it, they kind of ruled that out. And they said it was a bone bruise and a PCL. They ruled out PCL and then they only put bone bruise and now it's a torn meniscus. This is all reports. We will know more later today once he's down in L.A. and whatever, when they open up the knee and they figure out what needs to be repaired and what does not need to be repaired, we will know more. Um, I still think there's probably a partial ACL tear in there. The way how the knee kind of snapped locked in place afterwards, it definitely gives me like a little bit of uh, vibes of an ACL. But the one thing I do want to say is that someone brought up a good point. The Jets put him questionable return to the game. They did not immediately rule him out. So when they did the check on the sidelines, like the hand ACL, from what we've been told is everything has been intact. So in that standpoint... Uh, also, kind of th- like uh, also puts in my head that the ACL is probably still intact, the PCL is probably still intact, and it could just be a meniscus, which would be the best thing for Zach Wilson and the Jets. If it's a meniscus, it could take you know a month or two to come back and fully be prepared. Someone, r- the report was saying two to four weeks, which I think that's a little bit crazy, and that was a complete bone bruise. But if it's a meniscus, I'll take a little bit longer to get the surgery. Surgery, a little bit of rehab to heal process and to get back to full speed football. It will definitely take him a little bit. It's not just uh, surgery and then going back out into working in a cubicle. It's he's playing professional a contact sport. So it's going to take a little longer than two to four weeks if it's a meniscus. But we will know more in the upcoming hours and maybe in the next day or two what Zach Wilson's uh, immediate uh, injury would be according to the J- uh, Jets depth chart the next man up would be Joe Flacco as the Jets starting quarterback while Zach Wilson is out and Mike White as the backup I know that's been also some a uh, topic of conversations it's on the Jets uh, website when they have the depth chart Joe Flacco starting quarterback Mike White backup until Zach Wilson is back in the lineup but guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and it's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.